Bust down, Bariana. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust it open and pick that shit up. Bust it open and pick that shit up. Hey yo, I've been a bad bitch, Kakiana. And I'm still winning, Pakiana. Hey you guys, so what's up? We are in my kitchen. Which means we are gonna be doing something completely different. Today's video. We are actually, this is a new segment that I'm bringing in where you guys are going to cook with me. Like, we're, gonna, we're going to cook things that I have never cooked before together. <laughs> like, I think that would be really, really cool because there's a few things that I've been wanting to learn how to cook. And I feel like this will help me go out there and get the items and cook it. So, we are making today Philly Cheese Steak egg rolls yes philly cheesesteak egg rolls i have never made any egg roll anything so i'm copying this strictly off of janice or janice i think it's pronounced i'm gonna put a picture right here she is a influencer on instagram she just came out with a cookbook she is a girl boss so i this recipe i'm going off of solely what she did i'm gonna see if i can make these egg rolls just as bomb as she did um I don't have all, I'm not doing everything that she did because I'm a picky eater, but I am going to be doing a few things that she did. And she had an actual fryer. My fryer just broke, so I'm doing the old school way. So oil in a, in the, um, in a pot, we will fry it up that way. Okay, so we about to go in the fridge, get what we need to make the egg rolls. And I actually went to Publix today and bought some things. So, come on. Let's get the things that we need. So, first things up, egg roll wraps that I just got from Publix. They are vegan egg roll wraps. Healthy egg roll wraps. What's next? I got the pure beef sliced Philly. What else do we need? Um, of course, we're going to need cheese. Onions. I know my refrigerator looks empty. It is kind of empty. Onion. And of course we need cheese. Usually I have Sargento, but I have Kraft. We want to use that. Cheese. 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 And now it's time to fry up the onions and fry up the meat. This is the oil that's getting hot. And this is what we're going to be using to fry up the meat and fry up our onions. So I'm not a big onion fan, so I'm only going to cut up a little bit of onions. Like really, like a little bit of onions. I'm also horrible at cutting onions as well. Now, I know that's not a lot of onions, but that's all the onions I'm using. We're going to use some olive oil and just olive up the um, this thing. <laughs> you guys, if I'm all over the place, I am low-key lit. So this is like cooking with me when I'm lit. <laughs> We are going to just start cooking up some of those. I'm gonna bring the heat down because I have it pretty high. These, oh, I think I should have cut these onions way smaller. But I guess at this point, this one will open. I think I should have cut this one down. Oh wow, it fell. Alright, it's not going to fell. It's a bottom. Okay. Now that we have a little bit of onions, we're going to open up the box of meat. Now this is 14 steak sandwiches. It looks like this. This thing is huge. I'm going to 
wipe that off the heat. Um, okay. Got okay. Now I understand what's going on here. So um I should crush it I guess as well. Yeah. Crush. I'm gonna crush it too, y'all. <laughs> this is so interesting. It's like ripping right out of my hand. So there you go. I don't know how many I'm supposed to put because Janice's um, instructions on Instagram didn't really say. So I guess I put however I, whatever I feel comfortable with. Um, I'm not going to eat a lot of egg rolls because I am in a, on a diet. And this is going to have a lot of dairy. Alright, let me put the heat back up. Okay, I think that's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me add one more. Look how it crumples up. Ah. Okay, boom. Alright, boom. I'm gonna put this back in this respective box. And then I think I'm supposed to also season the meat. Oh, how did I forget to season the meat? This is why you shouldn't be doing this when you're lit, you guys. So season the meat however you like. I'm using slab your mama. A little bit of obey. A little bit of obey. Some all purpose. Some Mrs. Dash. Okay, it's cooking. So I guess we just go keep cooking it. Till it get cooked. Oh, we'll cook it a little faster. Three hours later. Okay, so at this point, it has completely cooked. We're gonna add some cheese to. Oh shit! Put the heat on that oil down. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start adding cheese to this part. I'm going to add some Parmesan. Why the hell did I just add Parmesan today? So I'm going to add some cheese. Um, in Janice's tutorial, and then with hers, she adds the cheese and everything. She adds mozzarella cheese. But I don't have mozzarella cheese. I got four cheese. So that's what we're using. But four cheese is just as good as mozzarella anyways. And we're going to mix it all together. I didn't put it in another bowl because I didn't see a point. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so... Next thing that we have to do is make our egg rolls. Follow me so we can go make the egg rolls. Okay, so at this point we have a little bowl. We're going to use this little bowl to put our egg in. We are going to crack an egg. Whisk the egg. As best as you can. And see how thick this egg is? We're gonna add a little bit of water. Next thing up, we are going to open this up. Okay, what's the best way to open it? All right, just wanna just do it. All right, thanks. Okay. So, be gentle. <gasps> the first paper that we done laid down. So what I'm doing over here is cutting some cheese. 
I'm cutting these cheese straight down the middle because I'm going to put them at the bottom of this. Here's the meat. Which we're going to just put right there. So, what we're going to do first, you're going to take your mixture and you're going to just do each corner with a little bit of egg wash. Feels like you're just, you know, a little art painting. And then we're going to take a piece of the sliced chives. Gonna lay it right out. And then we're gonna take some of our chili. And we are going to put it right on top of the cheese because we want that to be a little cheesy. A little cheesy. Just a little bit. Don't overstuff. I think I overstuffed. Don't overstuff. And then, okay, so, oh, it was supposed to be the other way. Wow. Okay, we can still do it this way. So you want it in a diamond shape. Once you do it in a diamond shape, you're going to pick it up and tuck. Once you tuck, you're going to do this, then this, and then you're going to roll, baby, roll, roll, baby, roll, boom. And then the egg wash helps it kind of all stay down. Oh, you made our first egg roll! Okay, now we're going to take this bitch to the fryer. I made my first egg roll. So I'm going to keep the camera as far away from the oil as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and just dip it in here. And let that bitch cook. It's cooking! It's cooking! <laughs> Okay, you guys, so are y'all ready to see the final product? Ah! Yo, they look like egg rolls. Uh, I did that. Maybe I cooked them a little too long because they're a little brown. But shoot, it might still taste good. Matter of fact, I'm going to try it. I don't even know which one to pick. I guess one that's not too hot. I'm going to do this one. I should do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all see that? My camera doing me so dirty, but y'all see that? Look at that, you guys. My camera was trying to do me so dirty. Mmm. That is it for this video. I only made four of y'all. I know I'm on a diet, so I don't need man. I'm gonna need two. You other two? Save them. But that's it for my video, you guys. If you guys want to see more videos of me cooking while lit, this is it.